All right, welcome back uh, to the rest of the uh, Halloween uh, Wi-Fi special. This is round three of the uh, Halloween tournament that I was involved in. If you didn't watch rounds one and two, make sure you check those out first, obviously. So here we go with the battle. I'll lead off with uh, Frostlass again. And this time the opponent has a Drift Blim. And so this is going to be really nice because I actually can get some nice stab action on this thing with an Ice Punch. And... Um, yeah, super effective stab, and it takes out the Drift Blim, no problem, yeah, with one hit, uh, which was nice, really nice. Um, so, okay, I have the opponent's first Pokemon out of commission, and let's see what what he has for number two. It's, uh, oh, a Binet of his own, and uh, Binets can be really a problem, you know, if they're used against you, obviously, so I don't know what I planned to do. I don't think Ice Punch is going to do that much to Bennett, so just to be safe, I switch out to Nimbus, and oh, it's good. It's a good thing I switched because the Bennett used uh, Will-O-Wisp. Uh, it, although it missed, um, at least it was a good prediction on my part, and my Will-O-Wisp also missed, which was <laughs> like really funny. Um, the Bennett goes for a Will-O-Wisp of its own. Uh, Nimbus is all like <laughs> burned, which is like ow, and um, now it goes for a Shadow Sneak, and ow, that's going to do quite a bit. But nothing that Nimbus can't handle, and I go for a will o -Wisp of my own, so I burn the Bennett, and that will reduce its attack by half, so thank God for that. And, uh, you know, as you know from before, I'm not concerned about Nimbus being burned, because I can just rest it off. And uh, that's exactly what I do, I go for the rest, and it's going to uh, heal up Nimbus, so Nimbus is like, snoring away, and uh, it sleeps and wakes up because of Chesterberry and Unburden is activated, which is awesome. But this Bennett has a little trick up its sleeve. It has Shadow Ball. And I was like, wow, so this must be a mixed Bennett, which is really, I've never seen anything like that before. So, wow, this is going to be, this was definitely a fun match and really unique. Um, but uh, because of Unburden being activated, I should be able to outspeed that Bennett. And I'm, uh, I don't know, I was just uh, contemplating what to do. But uh, that's exactly what I do. I go for Shadow Ball, and uh, I'm able to hopefully take out the Binet. Yeah, it takes Shadow Ball takes it out, which was epic. So uh, his second Pokemon is gone, and Nimbus is hanging there uh, reasonably well with 107 HP. I mean, even with that much, I think it should be able to take something. So, oh, out comes a Spirit Tomb! God, there's so many Spirit Tombs floating around. Well, I guess it makes sense, because, you know, they're neutral to Ghost-type attacks, being uh, Ghost and Dark. But yeah, it's just really getting annoying seeing them. So I decide to be environmentally friendly and Nimbus recycles um, because I need that Chesterberry back. And the Spirit Tomb goes for a will -Wisp of its own and it misses, which was epic. So I go for a rest to get back my HP. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, because I got the Chesterberry back from Recycle, I can wake up again. And the Spirit Tomb goes for a faint attack, um, being a stab move and super effective. Yeah, that's going to do quite a bit. Uh, but again, nothing that Nimbus can't handle, so Nimbus is like, I mean, I'm so glad you're hanging in there. I try to go for a Will-O-Wisp of my own, and it misses. God, so like, um, it's kind of an equal amount of luck here, going on both sides with Will-O-Wisps missing and all that. So another faint attack takes me down, uh, so I'm able to, I just go for another Will-O-Wisp, just for, you know, whatever reason. I'm able to get it, which was epic. <laughs> so is my opponent, which is not so epic. Um, but again, you know, I can always rest it off, so I'm not too worried about it. I just hope this Spirit Tomb doesn't have Shadow Sneaks, um, that way at least I can get my rest off. Uh, I don't know, do I actually go? Yeah, I go for rest again. So there's no way I can, uh, no way this burn is going to affect me, because I can just keep resting it off, you know, da 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 and without any problem. Uh, but the Spirit Tomb actually goes for a rest of its own, so I thought, okay, maybe it has a Chesterberry, but it didn't wake up, so yeah, it doesn't. I don't even know what item that Spirit Tomb has. Um, maybe uh, attack boosting item of some kind, but uh, while that spirit tomb I know is asleep, um, it can't do anything to me. And uh, yeah, I didn't actually get my Chesterberry back this time because I didn't have time to actually go for the whole recycle. But I go into Bennett, and ah, okay, it has leftovers. Yeah, I d somehow I missed that. It has leftovers, but it's a sleep talking spirit tomb, and it goes for Will O Wisp, and it misses again, which was really good, which was really lucky for me actually. Um, so now that it I know it's a sleep talking spirit tomb. I'm actually gonna trick it with a choice scarf, and this <laughs> this was just awesome because <laughs> that spirit tomb is stuck into sleep talk now. And okay, uh, th yeah, th this part didn't work out that great because it has faint attack and a s banded spirit tomb using faint attack did a lot to Bennett. But because my Bennett is a bit on the bulky side, it's able to take the faint attack uh, just barely. 
but you'll see this strategy actually worked out really well Piopa is not plundered just yet um, I know that thing is locked into sleep talk so because it used rest it's going to wake up the next turn I, I believe because rest only puts you to sleep for two turns so I'm just gonna switch out to Bennett and go to Nimbus who can wall this spirit tomb pretty well and the spirit tomb yeah woke up just like I thought but it used it has to use sleep talk because he's just stuck in that move because of the uh, choice band now you're probably wondering okay why doesn't he run away if he can't do anything but you see the way this tournament works is if you run away from a battle you 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 get minus two points so um, yeah we got ourselves a mini stall war so unfortunately he has to stay in no matter what and uh, I can just take my time finishing him off uh, wait for Nimbus to wake up and then I can just keep uh, you know basically spamming shadow balls all over the place so the spirit tomb yeah gets hit by a shadow ball guess what it's gonna do sleep talk <laughs> but it failed because it's not asleep so I go for shadow ball again and I was really worried what the spirit tomb is gonna do but guess what it does sleep talk <laughs> so I, I go for another shadow ball boom right in the face and I was really worried what the spirit tomb is gonna do but not really because you know why it uses sleep talk <laughs> Because it was locked in sleep talk. I have oh I have never in my history of battling been able to use trick this effectively. It was just awesome and really hysterical to see that spirit tomb just keep using sleep talk. So yeah, um I don't I feel bad about the whatever sweep, but yeah, whatever. It was too funny. So I thought I hope you enjoyed that match, and here we go with round four. Um Whew, all this battling, all this narrating is making me tired. So I lead on the Frostlass, and the opponent has a Gengar. Oh, God. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just wanted to try something different this time. I'll show you the other move this Frostlass has on her set, which is actually Thunder Wave. And I know what you're thinking. Why the hell would you make a Scarfed Lassie with Thunder Wave? That's like, dude, isn't that kind of stupid? Well, I guess in a way it is, but see, that's the idea, is to catch people off guard, and I figured I, you could just Thunder Wave something really fast, like maybe Gengar, and then let other people, uh, let my other team, people, what the hell, Pokemon, um, take care of it. But this didn't work out as well as I thought it would, because I paralyzed the Gengar, but the Gengar has Hypnosis, and it, yeah, okay, that's why it had a wide lens. Thank you for the information, Bennett. A little late, but eh. So, yeah, Frostlass is asleep, which really sucks because she's probably the most effective Pokemon on this team. Bennett goes down to a Shadow Ball and it's like... And that Gengar, man, jeez, it's like... Really, really pissing me off. So I go into Nimbus, and I'm just shouting out, I'm just... Praying, flying Nimbus, do something! And I yield for Shadow Ball, and it doesn't take the Gengar out, which was like, oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? And uh, the Gengar goes for Shadow Ball of its own, and uh, Nimbus survives, thank god, at 16 on HP. I mean, with a base HP of 150, that gargantuan amount of HP, that stupid flying blimp has to survive something super effective. So at least I took the Gengar out so I can have my dignity without being swept 3-0 to zero by the opponent. Whew, thank God for that. So, let's see. Uh, I have a, uh, my only ho so far, let's have a recap. Bennett went down without really doing anything at all, which sucked. Nimbus is at 69 HP, and Frostlass is asleep on the job. Hmm, L things are looking pretty challenging for Piopa right now. Oh man, this is a real Piopa plunder. So, um, yeah, the opponent is taking their time, taking their time. Oh my gosh, I think he had to go do something, but... I know I should have edited this part out, but I was just too tired to edit it out. Give me a break, guys, you know. Please, just give me a break. Just, I don't know, go grab some popcorn in the meantime, or, you know, go, I don't know, scare some kids in the meantime while we wait for the next Pokemon to come up. There we go. It's Mysteries the Miss Magius. And, um, oh god, I hope this is not one of those stupid special sweeping Miss Magius, otherwise I'm screwed. Well, I'm screwed either way, because I only have 69 HP, and it is faster. So it goes for the Shadow Ball, and that takes out... Oh, gosh, takes out Nimbus. No! Flying Nimbus! No! Goku, where are you? <laughs> oh, man, sorry. I had to do that Dragon, Balls, uh, Dragon Ball reference. So I go back into Frostlass, who's sleeping, um, sleeping beauty, and, <laughs> oh god, yeah, the Miss Magius just has to calm mine to rub it in my face. Thanks a lot, jerk! And, um, yeah, Frostlass doesn't wake up! And, uh, obviously a calm-minded, super effective step, Shadow Ball is gonna shoot Frostlass down. 
So that's another loss for me, Paiupa. And uh, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed the battle. So I'll see you for the next rounds. Take care.